Hi, my name is Ola Rugbu. I'm the CEO and founder of Synergy Solutions. Synergy Solutions is a specialist digital innovator and management consultancy practice focused on delivering customer experience that drives improvement in NPS. Times are changing with serious implications for customer experience, customer service and contact center leaders. Things are not like they were a year ago, and for that matter, a month ago. Within the industry, we're seeing contact centers really struggling due to not having enough people available as staff self-isolate with real or potential COVID-19 symptoms, and these concerns are real. The Department for Health and Social Care states that it is possible that up to one-fifth of employees may be absent from work during peak weeks, and if this figure is applied globally, the numbers become alarming. In addition, leaders are becoming overwhelmed with information relating to the pandemic, specifically what actions to take to keep themselves and their staff safe, whilst juggling business-related concerns, such as how are they gonna to continue to service their customers and retain their NPS when there is a pandemic taking place, which they have no control over. The reality is that this event alone is forcing the industry to make radical changes to the way that they have done things in the past. What technology is key for those looking for solutions? Well, Raj, digital technology has a real role to play in helping to alleviate some of the challenges that the industry is facing right now. The current COVID-19 pandemic is fast tracking the demand for digital technologies to support in three areas. Number one, homeworking. I believe that digital technology is unshackling staff from the on-premise contact center structure. Today's workforce is radically different compared to 20 years ago. Fueled by many new technologies and 24-7 economy, the speed of reaction required has given emphasis to a greater need for work-life balance and for some workers to carve out personal time in a world where professional and leisure space have become increasingly confused. This trend has been fueled by a plethora of laptops and tablets, the rapid increase in capacity of mobile technology, advances in cloud technology and better enabling technology such as 5G connectivity. With the rampant nature of COVID-19 and the total lockdown response resulting in school closures, reduction in transportation and on-site office closures, customer experience, customer service and contact center leaders who've been sitting on the fence have now been forced to move to a home working model just to maintain their service commitments. Now, there is a wide array of cloud-based omni-channel contact center solutions available that support the home working model. The beauty of this is that they can be set up really quickly. Number two, empowering customers to self-serve. There will be a growth in demand from customers who want to solve their own problems easily without having to speak to an agent, or when they are required to speak to an agent, get through and off the channel quickly without the dreaded question drill. I think that it's really important to say that empowering customers to self-serve doesn't just mean chatbots and making information clearer on your websites. But I do believe that it's important for leaders to provide these customers with tools that they can use easily to solve their own problems. Tools provided through the use of AI, visual IVR, voice biometrics and others. The reality is that many customers want to be empowered to find the information they need so they can do more on their own, but they want the answers right first time. And given the potential for large numbers of staff being off sick, then it's highly likely that CX leaders will want the same too. Number three, real-time digital team collaboration. Thanks to the cloud, the number of collaboration tools available has skyrocketed 
and it's easier than ever to experience the same unified interface at work as remotely. When contact center staff support customers using the cloud, they commonly access live documents that can be updated in real time, in addition to customer records. Just to be clear, when I talk about unified communications, I mean that this is a catch-all term for the integration of features including instant messaging, voice audio, and video services. In essence, providing access to a whole suite of tools that can be accessed remotely without compromising the customer experience. And location doesn't matter. Staff forced to stay at home can negate the impact of social isolation, which could affect their mental well-being, and they can continue to work from the safety of their home environment. So what are the long-term prospects for centralized contact centers? Well, Raj, what is taking place will fundamentally change the contact center industry as we know it. For me, leaders of customer experience, customer service, and contact centers must be laser focused on understanding what they need to do to get ahead of the digital trends, keep up with the changing customer demands, and drive their NPS. In this environment, and I believe beyond, Business as usual will simply not work anymore. So how should companies manage remote workers and what are the mistakes some make? One of the biggest mistakes is the assumption that everyone would love the opportunity to work from home. The reality is that it's not suitable for everyone. And where the choice is taken out of the hands of the employee, this can lead to stress and negatively affect their emotional and mental well-being due to the enforced work at home rule. The key is to engage and support staff and one another by using the tools available within the platform, for example, video and live chat amongst others. It's important to remember that the contact center, and for that matter, the office is a hive of social activity. The aim is to recreate this atmosphere within a remote setting. And again, there are numerous collaboration platforms, some of which are already integrated into the existing cloud-based omni-channel contact center solutions, and others which are standalone. So as a business, it's key to understand which work better for you, and of course, which can be delivered quickly without risking your budget. How do you ensure security of data, in particular customer data? The reality, Raj, is that when employees work remotely, they're stepping outside of their normal day-to-day -day company environment. This in itself presents some new and significant risks, but with the right structure in place, this risk can be reduced. In a home-based environment, I would say that it's vital to put in place the appropriate controls and barrier fences to protect both the customer and internal IT systems with a view to safeguarding customer data security and prevent data leakage. So as a leader responsible for customer experience and contact centers, putting in place controls such as role-based access to all systems, which then determines what can be seen by a user. Application security metrics to ensure applications and networks are not vulnerable to attacks, with systems in place that monitor and provide alerts for any unusual activity. Incident reporting measures to prevent and correct security breaches. Proactive scanning and penetration testing to ensure a continued focus on seeking ways in which to ensure the systems and processes are safeguarded against unauthorized access. Removing the ability to use external USB drives, remote access policy and login for internal and external access. Security awareness and education for all employees to prevent high risk behaviors. Furthermore, it is really important to be aware that remote working stretches internet connectivity. The standard business broadband package that provides a customer's business internet connectivity 
is unlikely to have enough capacity for anything more than a few remote working sessions to operate at the same time. So understanding the number of employees that will be working from home and the required additional load will help to reduce the stress on the current connectivity and potential response delays. Many providers are now offering 5G, which may help to reduce the issues relating to speed, response times, and the number of devices that can be connected at any one time. Finally, consider providing company laptops that can be used to access company networks. This will eliminate the risk of security breaches, customer data leaks, or even the introduction of ransomware on the network. Are there any good news stories that I can share following the announcements? We're hearing good news stories both within and outside the sector. For example, Zapex and various other companies have taken off their commercial hat with a view to supporting contact centers struggling to contain calls as a result of staff shortages. Another company in a completely different space, Microfesh, saw the risk to health posed by COVID-19 and as a result of the lack of availability of hand sanitizers, their CEO made it his mission to pivot their service and make this product. The company is now supporting the community with hand sanitizer products. I see companies sharing information, sharing their learnings and working together to find ways to jointly support the communities in which they operate. These to me are great news stories and we as a community can all do the same in our own way. So how is my company coping with deploying solutions when we're cutting back on face-to-face -face meetings and essential travel? As a specialist digital innovator and consultancy practice that is focused on helping companies stay at the forefront of digital technology and the ever-changing world of customer expectations, we have ourselves adopted a model of remote working and have done so since we were set up in 2005. It works for us. However, during this crisis, all face-to-face -face engagements have been canceled. So we're using more digital platforms, video conferencing, conference calling, team collaboration platforms, instant messaging, and even WhatsApp for non-sensitive conversations. This situation we know is unusual and unprecedented, but it's worked very well for us given our current business model. So what other tips would I share with companies who are looking for ideas on how to cope? Be open, share your experiences and invite other companies to do the same. I'm a firm believer in this, in particular at this crucial time where there is no precedent that a problem shared is a problem halved. I've seen companies have that open dialogue with one another and it's helped them no end. And of course, if you're struggling, speak to a specialist. We're always glad to help. Thank you. And it's really good to speak to you, Raj.